Google has been building cool things with augmented reality for a couple of years now, using a technology they call Tango. You can already find Tango in museums and even aboard the International Space Station, but there aren't a lot of people walking into stores and asking for this feature. Instead, more and more folks have started to ask for AR Core, Google's new initiative to put augmented reality on every phone. To understand why this is important, we need to talk about how AR Core and Tango are alike. More importantly, how significant the differences between the two really are. Tango uses multiple specialized cameras and sensors on the back of the phone to make the software aware of its position in space. Apps are aware of 3D objects and the position of those objects in a building. Through Tango, apps can be written that cross multiple rooms with information spread out over large distances without an issue. You can create a map of the Wi-Fi strength in your entire house, or walk through a massive scale model of the solar system spanning hundreds of feet without losing your position on the map. So is AR Core an entirely different kind of augmented reality? Actually, no, and that's where this gets a little confusing. AR Core is actually built on a lot of the same concepts as Tango, just simplified to work on more phones. It's sort of a Tango light, limited to augmented reality that's right in front of you. If you travel too far, or if AR Core maps to too many surfaces, the software can very easily become confused. So which one is better? Well, there are some obvious strengths and weaknesses here. Tango is by far the best, but it's been available for over a year now, and the list of apps are still fairly slim. While noticeably limited, there are way more developers working on something fun that millions of people can try right now with AR Core. It's a great way to bring AR to everyone, and it's going to work best on phones with fantastic sensors and the best low-light cameras, but it's never going to be as capable as Tango. More than anything, this creates a feature based on priority. If you want the best augmented or virtual reality experiences, you get the Tango phones that are built for those purposes. If you want to occasionally play with augmented reality when something fun happens and you're okay with the limitations, AR Core is there to offer you something great. If you want to see more of our coverage on augmented reality and virtual reality, be sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.